it. Thanks for your time, this guys. Um, sorry for the weather and sorry for the last last minute in organisation. I know the station are uh, doing a little bit in the town centre tomorrow where we're um, supporting the star campaign um, and getting some petitions and things down. This really will make a big difference to the, 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 the members of the, 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 the public. The fire station used to be around with 40 guys. Now we're down to 28. We're talking about 30. It's not just the job losses and theft. It's the service we're going to provide. You cannot provide us with service if you're doing some 90 odd hours straight. We're going to be in that. We're seeing examples of this in Ponte now with the systems in place. And people are just physically knackered. They're doing two or three days. The, the, the fire we've got in Forest Park at the moment now. You know, people are there for days on end. So we won't physically be fit enough to do any sort of systems and invade the future leaders. Most of the people will never need us. But if you were there, so thanks for your attendance. Um, thanks for your um, it'll be an ongoing campaign. The consultation period finishes. I think it's on the 26th of August, 17th of August. So we've got a few weeks left, and we need to convince all of our county council members who sit on the fire authority. It'll be their decision ultimately. It won't be the, the chief officer. It'll be their decision. So again, if we can lobby them, write to them. Hopefully, we can get their names and addresses out. Because again, it's all on the Middle West Wales fire, uh, fire rescue site. The addresses are there. Contact them and ask them whether they're going to support Cleffy or not. It'll be interesting because obviously they are elected members. Right. Thanks for your attendance, guys. Cheers.